Good afternoon, guys. It's Jaeger262, and happy Halloween. As you can see, Armored Warfare's Halloween event is up and running. So is World of Tanks. I haven't played it yet, but I will make a video about that shortly after this one. And I probably won't be playing them too much because this month were two great releases. Today marks the release of the Pacific DLC in Battlefield 5, and last week the new Call of Duty Modern Warfare came out. So two games from my childhood. Can't decide which one I want to buy and play. If you have any thoughts or if you played either one or both, please let me know in the comment section below or go to my Instagram and do the poll. Anyway, you're looking at the Halloween garage to do some cool effects. And on the VAC Mephisto there, you will see the first award, just like the award to get the Object 287. Which, by the way, I don't think I made a video on this. So, in case I haven't showed you guys this vehicle yet, just going to take over. Yeah. This is it, and this is the special skin. So, if you remember, you get 2,000 damage per battle. Any battle you play over five days, you won a bunch of awards, and you eventually got this. Which, so far, is actually proving to be my favorite tier for tier tank destroyer. It's almost better than the C-13. Only because what they didn't mention is that these 73mm cannons are almost semi-automatic, really. There's less than a one second delay between shots, so you can just hold down the fire button and it switches from one or the other constantly. You don't have to wait for it to reload, they're preloaded. I'm sure that was in the article about the vehicle, but it was not something that I remembered reading. So it's a really interesting vehicle and I hope everybody got a chance to pick one up. Also, while we're talking about premium vehicles before I get to the Halloween missions, you now have the opportunity to, last year you could win these, this year you can just buy them, but everybody has a chance to play in their monster vehicles. So there's three of them. There's the Zakuri, the um, 0882, I forget what that little AFE is called. Yeah, this one. I actually own the monster one. Last year they gave it away for free to everybody. This year they're giving away skins and other cosmetics like portraits and decals. No vehicles, but you can get this for like, I think $4, so it's not too bad. And then of course the Sphinx at tier 10. So you'll be able to play all three of these vehicles for the next three days. And you can purchase them all on my loot or purchase Halloween crates and try to build them blueprints. Anyway, back to this. So the first day of missions actually starts today, and it's for the next six days, so until November 4th. And you'll be awarded this skin twice in case you didn't play today because you're enjoying Halloween. And at the end of it, you will get not only the portrait and three decals, but I think something special. I'm not entirely sure. Now, for anybody who has been playing Armored Warfare for a couple of years now and already had the monster tier 4 AFE. I think they compensate you for it. I'm not sure, but when I logged in today after playing my battle, not only did I get the skin, which is what you're looking at now, it looks pretty cool. Nice Halloween skin for the Mephisto, but I also got like 393,000 credits. I don't know what that came from. It wasn't mentioned in the missions, not that I saw at least. But it's nice to know that at least we're getting some kind of money if we already own one of the monster vehicles. I would have preferred gold, but that's neither here nor there. And that's pretty much it for the Halloween update. I really like this skin. Uh, don't like the Mephisto still, but the skin's cool. It's got the little jack lantern face and bats all over it. I like the purple color. And hopefully you guys will enjoy Halloween. You will be, there is a 400% XP boost and a 300% credit boost to so like all their other events and they just released a week ago the fourth chapter in the new special operations mode so for anybody who hasn't been playing the american dream you now get the final chapter i haven't played it yet but it seems exciting so a lot of cool bonuses a lot of cool vehicles to try out um I will mention, of course, that even though they are technically different vehicles, the monster vehicles are just premium versions. So, like, all their special skin vehicles from other events, like the uh, 
the Techno Sheridan, the Beast VBL, and those, these are going to operate exactly the same. So they don't get any buffs except for, of course, the experience buff and the credit buff that premium vehicles get. So if you're not a big fan of any one of these three vehicles, maybe just pass on that deal. But the skins are cool. There's actually, as you can see, some 3D elements to it. It's not just 2D, I guess, like the Mephisto you just saw. I really like the monster skins. They're a little bit creepy. Um, but nothing about the vehicle is special. So don't worry if you don't pick one up or if you feel like you're going to miss out. There's nothing special about it except for the fact that it's just a monster premium. Other than that, Halloween and Armored Warfare should be pretty fun. I will be playing for all six days trying to get those missions in and showing you guys some of the neat things that come from that. Uh, otherwise, I hope you guys have a good Halloween. This has just been a short news episode, so give it a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see the World of Tanks Halloween special, and I might actually play the mode. Because unlike Armored Warfare, World of Tanks is special modes instead of special vehicles. So I'll play through that. And of course, let me know in the comments about those two games. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.